What's up everybody? Welcome to the Diesel DW channel. This is Diesel. I appreciate you stopping by checking out this video. I'm gonna jump right in. We're gonna start playing some Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Just gonna get the new campaign started. Well that's loading up, just kinda wanna go over what I hope to achieve with the channel. Um, a couple different things. For me this is a hobby. Um, I enjoy playing video games and enjoy sharing that with other people. Um, so I hope to, to create some good content for people to enjoy and then maybe make a few friends along the way. Um, and then also um, just looking to learn more about creating videos, the process that goes into that, um, video editing techniques and whatnot. Um, and yeah, and just hoping to have some fun most of all along the way and create some good content. So appreciate it. Um, hope you like it and enjoy it. Keep coming back. Um, and as soon as this gets loaded, we'll get this thing started. Faction wise, I usually go the Empire um, just because I like the construction speed. Everything takes so long to build in this game, but I might try out something different here. Let's see what we got. Forest, get 30% less. Extra speed for horsemen, that could be nice. I do like having a horse heavy armory, cavalry heavy. No, let's do that actually. Let's go with Landians. Um, get some more XP from our battles. Level up our troops faster. Because that is another thing that takes forever in this game. Don't want to spend a ton of time on this, so we'll randomize it and just modify it once we get one I kind of like. Generally, I like to go two handed, so we'll go kind of a big brawler style here. I should just come with it. This one will do. Let's see, voice. Let's see what voice. Life is formation. A little too high pitch for me. Make a shield wall. Let's go right in the middle. Move to enemy. Keep your ground. Mud man. Sounds like the gladiator. Let's go with it. We'll go a little above average height. Face, not too worried about it. Let's just change eye color a little bit. Let's see where's eye color. Here we are. Let's see what options we got. Let's go with that one. Nose, shape. Let's see what we got. That's fine. Skin tone, hairstyles. Don't mind that hairstyle. Let's change up the beard, though. I do want to side with the Imperial faction, so we'll kind of go more neat and trimmed. I don't want no facial hair. Go with that one. Let's go a little bit darker hair. Yeah, that's good. Markings. Let's give him a scar. Oh. Don't want it there. That's a good one. Alright, let's load this up. Like I said, I like to go two-handed, so usually I'll go things that give me strength um, for two-handed and pole arms. Crossbow is very good as well. This one gives us both crossbow and pull arm. Leadership skills. It is very handy to have some good leadership. Two handed. Let's go that one. We'll go brawn. But in this one, let's go kind of focus on the leadership tactics side. Ooh, a 
also athletics is pretty important. That's actually the athletics. So we can actually run at a decent speed when we get some armor. Engineering. Let's get that one. Steward, it's helpful. Ended. Tactics and leadership, let's get that one. Build up our leadership. And then let's get that one again as well. Build up leadership and charm. We'll just name him Diesel. Oops. Let's go. Again, guys, appreciate you coming out, checking the channel out. I got a lot to learn. Um, so I'm going to be making mistakes. Um, there's going to be a lot I got to fix in editing, uh, different things like that. So I appreciate feedback, comments. Let me know what I can do better, what you liked, what you'd like me to see, like to see more of, like me to keep doing, what I should add, and different game ideas. I'm going to be playing this one for a little while, just this one. My schedule hopefully is going to be once a week, maybe more, getting a game out. Um, it's actually skip tutorial. So yeah, please feedback is very welcome. Um, as like I said, I'm learning to do this first time ever recording. So I'll try and keep you guys engaged so we can have a good time here. Let's load this up. Come across a wounded man laying under a tree, share water with him. I haven't played this in a while, so there's I know there's some new updates. Just wanted to see if there was uh, anything different. So this does look a little bit different. Family name. Let's uh let's just go diesel again. Keep everything simple. Clan Diesel. And then let's pick a logo. We'll go the bear. I'm a big fan of bears. Probably going to become the logo for the channel. Let's go. I like blue. Yeah, white. Let's go. Let's go black and white. Uh, gold looks good actually. Let's go this goldish orange color. Yeah, that's sweet. How's it look on the shield? Make it a little bit bigger. That yeah, looks good. Alright. So first things first with this game. There's two things got to get this Noretz's Folly, and we'll take every opportunity we can to talk to leaders, because this can take forever, tracking them down. Um, and then we also need to build up, start building up our reputation. So I have found the best way to do that is, one, doing some of the missions for the towns, and then tournaments. Um, right now we're pretty weak, so we probably won't win many tournaments, but we'll I'll just see what we can do. Start off recruit. We like to keep it small, around a party size of eight or nine um, at most. Don't want to get too big because then it just gets so costly to do the upkeep to start off. So get a few here, go to a big city, and then we'll uh, see what we can do about finding some tournaments. Bandit base. Probably not quite strong enough for a bandit base yet. Keep that at eight for now. And let's go to let's go to Leak Rhone first. Probably not gonna say a lot of these, right? But it's a fantasy world, we can 
is it that we want? So what's up here? If we get the opportunity, we'll go after some bandits. Let's see what we can do. Let's go talk to the arena master. Let's see what the next tournament's going to be. Part of these games. Kind of go slow here so you guys can read it. Tell me how the tournament works. Don't have any questions anymore. Are there any tournaments going on? My Zia. Okay. Let's head that way. This game can definitely be a grind starting out. And if any of you guys play it, have any tips to speed up the grind, I definitely appreciate it. Some of this, I'm, some of the grindy stuff, I might do off recording just so you guys don't have to, to sit and listen and uh, watch through it. So we can kind of get more to the fun stuff of um, joining a faction, building an army, taking over towns, castles, whatnot. Um, but yeah, we'll see as it goes forward. This first stream, we'll definitely just play through. Some of that grindy stuff can be fun in the beginning, like I said, doing the tournaments. Because they are tough to win without armor. So we said Mysia and Onira. So there's Onira. There's Mysia. So up there. So we'll head to Onira first. We'll look out for some looters, bandits along the way that we can kind of fight. All right, those ones right there. Catch him. Still. Oops. Didn't mean to click on there. Still are rather slow. Looks like we're going to be fighting him in the forest. Ah, oh, dang it. Did not mean to do that. We'll attack him. I do have a couple mods on. Um, I will include those with a link in the description of the video. Um, speaking of that channel, I know it's pretty bare right now, not a lot on there. I'm going to be going through, kind of updating as we go, pause this real fast, and just updating what the channel is going to be about, what to expect, schedule, all that stuff is going to be coming, so just be watching for that. Um, and again, if you like the channel, please come back. Um, and subscribe. I'm not going to be that guy asking for a bunch of subscribers all the time. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. And I appreciate it either way. So what I'm going to do, set up a battle line here. And I will actually go out and try and burn up some of their stupid rocks that they have. Get rid of this tutorial stuff. Forgot to knock the, mark that off in the beginning. Kind of lead him back towards my battle line. Kite him if I can. Oops, Jesus. I've not played this in a while, yeah, so bear with me while I reaccustom myself with everything. I usually play with a big pole on the sword or a big two handed axe. want to give my recruits the best chance possible. So I'll kill a few. Just going to my recruits control Follow themselves. Your nice to chase me anyways. I 
just want to get this bow experience. I'm probably not going to use a bow mask. I'm just going with the sword. Alright guys, got my dog here. Here's some people outside the door. Just one sec. Mic off. Mike on. Sorry, I had to go put him in his kennel. All right, let's finish this one. All right, so that one's over. Got some experience. Sweet, got a couple that upgraded. Probably not gonna upgrade them yet. Gonna hold off until we have a little bit more gold coming our way. Um, and then we'll upgrade them. Because it can be pretty spendy. I might upgrade a few of them. We'll see what their daily upkeep is going to be. Take all the loot. Need every bit of gold we can get. Let's see. Party. I thought I saw some upgrades moving out. Oh, yeah. There they are. Yeah, we'll just skip Bowman. That'll be it. We'll leave the rest for now. Because I think their upkeep's not too bad here. Daily upkeep, three. Right. There we go. And we are headed to Onira, I believe. So let's keep heading that way. Look for opportunities, fast forward here. Right, when we get a chance, we need to talk to a noble. Kind of get the Noretz's Folly quest moving forward. Oops, I don't want to get in a fight with 13 of them. Might be a bit much still. And I want to kind of get some health back before going to the tournament. Because a lot of those guys are going to be significantly stronger than I am. Trade. Just sell off what we got. We'll get a few gold for it. Not much. But first, we'll go in. If you mark this little circle here, it makes it so that stuff doesn't get sold. And you just do select all. It's so 98 gold. Not bad. Good for us right now. We'll wait here. Get back up to 90s for health. Are we out of food? Food-wise, in the beginning, I just get grain. I don't get anything too fancy. Just to keep the party happy. Don't be too heavy. Oh, wait. I'm going the wrong way. So we'll just max it out right around there. 16 days worth of food. Keep waiting. Ah, 30 looters. Usually don't see parties that big till late game. Alright, let's go to the arena. Let's join the tournament. Join. It's the Imperial tournaments generally. You always have a bow or like a spotha type sword. Um, some of them are horseback, some not. They're usually, I prefer to do these ones. They're uh, a little bit easier when you start off early game. Some of the other um, factions, you have two handed fights and whatnot that are pretty hard when you have low level armor. And 
another low level character and you can't take much of a hit and it's harder to block so that's why I prefer to start off on these ones that could be good for us right now to strengthen up our character a little bit we'll skip this round, we'll kinda see who moves on how much we wanna bet cause these other like NPC characters are gonna be pretty tough Equites are pretty tough so I don't wanna just waste money but we'll go, we'll bet a little bit, we'll bet 100 gold on ourselves Join that. So I started off with the sword, not too bad. It's kind of what you got to do with these guys. Spoth is the best at stabbing. You're fastest at it. It's usually what I'll focus on. It's just stabbing. Could be bad in the long run, but we'll see. Oof. No, I already bet, so. These guys are gonna be tough. Okay, got the sword at least. That's a huge help. with him again. Again, this is going to be a tough one to win, but if I win it, we just got to fight an Imperial Infantryman. It should be fairly easy to beat. So let's see. Alright, got the swords. Don't get the game with that one. See how slow I am? That is why I want to speed up athletics. Facing him in the next round. Yep, and I'll, I'll go high. He shouldn't be too hard to beat. I'm gonna eat my words for saying that now. Bad karma. Come on! There we go. That, it's pretty rare to win the first tournament when you start this game, for me at least. Not the best. You guys will find as you guys watch the channel more. Video games are definitely a hobby for me. I enjoy them, have a lot of fun playing them, but I'm not the best at them. I don't spend a ton of time on them. So, you guys have to be patient with me. And like I said, feedback is more than welcome on what I could do, what you guys see. One thing I've noticed already, I've done a few practice streams just to kind of get um not streams of practice recordings to get into the hang of it and i notice you miss a lot when you're focusing on trying to talk the whole time um be engaging so definitely if i miss things in videos where it's kind of important let me know i'll try and go back see if i can get whatever it was whether that's quest item whatever it is um let's see trade we shouldn't need to trade anything let's see if there's any decent missions Oh wait, those bounty hunters can be pretty strong. Let's go to inventory. It takes a second to load up here. And that's the other thing, I am working on getting a new PC. A little bit more processing power, um, be a little bit faster. So bear with me, 
can be a little bit slow every now and again on certain games, certain aspects. So what do I got? Padded leather shirt. And this is body armor 20, so that'll help. So we'll get that on. And I made some decent gold off of that. Oh, I forgot to ask where the next tournament is. So let's go back into O'Neill real fast. See where that next tournament is. Sorry for that weird cut there. Um, game actually crashed. I had to go in and fix a couple mods. Um, but yeah, back in Onira, I just wanted to talk to the Arena Master. See where the next fights are going to be. Um, one thing I do know about this game is it does have a lot of load screens. So if I'm not talking through it or we're talking about something or walking through something, I am going to be cutting them out because they are obnoxious for sure. That is one thing I hope they edit or... If I might go looking for a mod or something to, to cut out some of those load screens because it takes up a lot of time. Sinful things, yeah. I'm actually going to go to the trade, look for some more weapons. Most of the mods I have, like I said, I'll include a link for those in the description of the video. Um, most of them, though, are armor and weapon related. I feel like this game was really lacking in that department, especially in the pole arms department. A lot of those you couldn't um, couch. Uh, a lot of those spears and whatnot. So what I've gone through is I've gone through and added a lot of, like, made almost all the spears and everything couchable. Um, so that is one thing you'll find I added just because it was really lacking. I felt like there was only three or four you could do it with. They are pretty weak, especially once it got to a high level game. Um, so it was just kind of... Uh, obnoxious to deal with, so that's what a lot of my mods focus on. Um, but as far as that, I'm not going to use a bow. I'm not a, not a fan of those. I'll use a crossbow probably, but I'm going to sell those. And the sword, I'll keep for now. Um, I do want to get a two handed axe or hammer, something of the like. Let's see what they've got. I'm not going to go crazy. I, just, I got some money, but I just save as much of it as I can. Lance might be what we have to go with for now. Might have to go to another faction to get a good... There's two in the X. So we get that. Oof. It's going to clean me out, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. We'll try and get some looters on the way to... Mysia, I think, was the next one. Mysia, and who's oh, so actually this is closer? We're gonna go here. Speed up time a little bit. I'm not gonna be joining a faction in this. Let's go 17. I think we can take them. Odds are in their favor, but what I'll do is I'll do like last time. Um, just run over there, burn up their little rocks that they throw, just because they're obnoxious. They don't do any damage, but like when you're charging and they hit you with a rock, it throws up your charge and you have to swing. It's obnoxious, so I hate the stupid rocks. So I try and burn those up, and then I'll position my archers up on a hill. Arrows! Move! What man? Hear me! Get moving!
saved my life. Still can't. Jeez. all of them. Man, I struggled on that one. It's a two-handed axe, but it's still got a short reach. This is why I like to have the long-handed axe when I'm swinging. We get one more archer. Upgrade this to the next level. Infantry. We'll hold off on them. Cake prisoners. Generally don't try and sell prisoners, but early game. I do. I'm not sure if it actually affects your renown, but I know in the original. Um, she could be a little heavy. Let's go rid of the cheapest thing. On them, actually. There we go. That's what I was just needed to put that on. Oh, this is the one I wanted. There we go. Forgot to put that on. I think I, was, I think I did put it on, and then the game crashed. And folk. So we'll keep going. I need to get some health back, especially for the tournament. Try and avoid any bandits, because I think it's under 25%. Your character can't fight or won't like go into battle if he sits it out. So we'll wait, get some health back, and we'll join that tournament. So this is a different faction. This is the uh, what's it? Azurai faction. So their style of tournament will be a little bit different. Pretty pole arm heavy and arrow heavy archer bows. Get some health back. Again, we'll get up to around 90%. As you saw in the last tournament, uh, we took significant damage in some of those fights, so the more health we have, the better uh, chance we have of winning. There we go. Go to the arena, let's join this tournament. What's our, he's going to be tough. He'll probably be tough. Well, I don't know, actually. He might just be one of those NPCs you find in the tavern. I think that's a noble. Veteran infantry is going to be tough. Mamelukes are tough. So we have some tough competition for some throwing axes. We'll bet. We'll bet a good amount on this first one. I don't think we'll bet anymore after that. 
we start off with an axe. I'm okay with that. We go. Hopefully, he might go on to the next round. Depends. Um, hopefully not. Yeah, he's knocked out. So that's one of our toughest competition knocked out of there. Skip that round. It's a free for all. So we'll go. This guy's gonna be. Close. So we qualified for the next round. Skip. Mono, mono. Bet a little bit. We should win this one. Not too badly either. Shouldn't be too bad either. Militia. Generally, some of the easier units to fight other than recruits. <coughs> See that as he's kicking my butt. There we go. Move on to the next round. Get some more money. Master Archer is going to have some good amount of money. We're already going to lose a lot, so just in case we lose this, don't want to lose all my money and be broke. seen that before. There we go. Not too shabby. Throwing axe. I think we'll keep those for now. Um, just to give us a little bit more. Character looks fat. Um... Yeah, just give us a little bit more versatility when we're fighting those looters. Give us some range, as you said in that last round, getting close. Almost died. So that'll just give us a little bit of range there. So go to the trader. Sell off that loot we got from the looters last round. Just move that there. I believe our grain is marked. Yep. Let's sell that. 733, not bad. I think it's from that tunic I had on before. We'll upgrade our troops now. We have some money to do that. 
keep forgetting. I need to be looking out for... Oh, we got those looters to sell off. I'm not going to... They're not very good. And without the... There's a leadership perk that allows you to turn bandits into regular <laughs> troops. It takes forever to get. I do not have it yet, so we'll go, go to the tavern district. We'll just ransom them. We'll leave... I think my Zia will head that way, and then you'll be looking for nobles for the Naretz's Folly quest. Fast forward. Now it's good too, because Regia, I know for a fact, is one of the nobles we need to talk to. So we'll start off. Let's see. I'm gonna sleep now. Because I know she's the faction leader, so we'll chase her down. Sorry about that. Now I believe it's going to make us talk to all the um, faction leaders first. It usually does, but let's see. Yep, I think he's a faction leader of the. Northern Empire, I believe. Can't remember for sure. Yeah, Northern Empire. Let's leave. Let's just keep going to Mysia. Get the tournament done. Oops. Quest. So we got updated part of Narets' Folly. Kind of what we were working towards in the beginning. For me personally, what I like to do, I like to either get a shop, because shops can cover a lot of your basic um, party costs in the beginning um, while you're starting up. So either a shop or a caravan. The only problem with caravans is they're fairly expensive to start up. And once you join a faction, there is a good chance of them being attacked and you losing that caravan. And then you got to go hunt down that character and start all over again with it. So it can be fairly obnoxious early game to have caravans that do make more money. Um, just all depends on how you do it. Dang it. Too slow. But I, I want to fight them so it works out. We should be fairly evenly matched if not on our side. That says it, but with our archers and their range, that'll give us the advantage for sure. Archers off to this side here. Forward! Warriors! Onward! Up there. Do my regular tactics. This time I got these throwing axes. So we'll use those to our advantage. Ah. 
when we can get some horse armor, one of the mods I have is better horse charges. Um, I can't remember the exact name, I'll post it in the link. But, um, it is super effective, it does work pretty good, because that is another thing I found lacking in this game, was you charged an enemy and did 2-3 damage with your horse, and it was just pathetic. Um, so I added that in there, it does help, but as of right now we got a pretty slow horse and no armor. So I'm not going to charge into the middle of a battle line for anything like that yet. I think they're going to get away, so I'm just going to end it. Of course, it's too slow to catch anything. So that went a lot better than last time. A couple more prisoners. Now we're getting some money, we'll upgrade everyone. We'll make him infantry, trained archer. I need to start looking for war horses because I do like to get um, the mounted archers. They're super effective in this game. Especially early on, early game, we got looters like this. You can just ride around them, shooting them and whatnot. So it works out really well. Keep going on to my Zia. Perfect. It's nice to fight them in the open. Dang it, I keep doing it too fast. Let's go, you stupid fat hobbit. I'd get a lot more tactically sound as we get more into the game. Actually start having some real battles other than looters. There's just not much needed for these guys to break. Basically what I'm doing this is I'm giving command to my individual troops. They'll do their thing so I don't have to focus on them. Especially right here. I'm just trying to help people down. Yeah, I really need a better axe. The reason I'm doing this is it's just cheap and easy experience. They're running away. Come yeah. back here. Might be one or two that got away, but that's the majority of them. One of them got away. And again, this is just easy renown. It's not much, 1.3, but it does add up. The biggest thing is party morale. Building that early game is big. We need to get a mule or something. Get rid of some of these cheaper stuff. Green we want. That thing's not going to do anything for us. All 
Those are valuable, but they're heavy. Get rid of one of these good blacksmith hammers. Yeah, we need a, a mule or a pack horse or something to carry our stuff around. Just increases our carrying capacity by a little bit. So I think that'll be our next purchase coming up. If you watch this video and you guys um, do not want to get caught by them, if you guys have any thoughts on what we can do as a party moving forward, what faction we should join. Right now, my plan is to join one of the Imperial factions or start out on my own. I haven't decided yet, but if you guys have a preference um, that you'd like to share and why we should join that one, I'd appreciate that. Just put that in the comments below. We can take that. Um, definitely take comments and stuff and we'll sorry I got distracted there and we'll uh we'll leave it up to you guys so we're up pretty much full health so I'm just gonna go straight into the tournament get a little bit more gold so I probably am gonna bet every round depending on the competition if the competition's pretty stiff don't want to risk losing too much yet. Militia, militia recruit, militia. He'll be fairly tough. Crossbone aren't too bad. This will be these two will be our toughest, these three. But that'd be nice. So yeah, we'll bet every round. Skip that round. with the bows when you do not have experience you only got a short window to aim with them um, as you can see I'm not very good with them I don't play with them much there we go we won no thanks to me Bad, but We've been, been stuck with the two best guys on my team, which means I'm gonna fight them late game. So it looks like if I win this, I'll be the equity. I'll be fighting, which is gonna be pretty tough. <laughs> Oh, 
that's another reason why athletics is so important is your swing speed um, it's partially just off that it's based off one-handed two-handed weapons as well but athletics helps definitely and ours is low right now so that'll help with our armor and we made some good money Most of these videos um, that we're going to do are going to be around 45 minutes um, on a lot of them. 45 minutes to an hour. This one will probably go a little bit longer as the first one. Test things out, give a, some more variety um, so you guys can see what I'm going to do and also for feedback. Like I said, feedback is super important for me, so I appreciate it. Um, even if you only watch a little bit of the video and you see something like, hey, I don't like your video because of this, this, and this, it helps me improve my stuff, so I appreciate it. Let's see, we did want to get some sort of horse. I think I'll go mules. A little bit cheaper. And I don't have to worry about someone in my party taking them to ride. So we'll get three of those. And that'll help our carrying capacity by quite a bit. Uh, before we go, we need to go to the arena, see where the next tournaments are. I forgot to do that in the last city. Looks like we've got some stuff to level up as well. Back in Onira and Varnival Bowl. One thing they did in this game that's a lot better than uh, the original game is really individualizing the cities and then giving them some more character. The last game, I don't know if any of you, if you played it, but it was pretty bland in my opinion. There were some aspects that I wish were incorporated in this one a little bit more. Um, some of the quests were better in that one. And same with, uh, what was that one? I think it was Viking. I haven't played it in a while. But that one was pretty good. It had a really good storyline, I thought. Two-handed. Let's see. Increase your damage against shields. Better handling. I'm going to go with the better handling. On horseback, shields aren't too much of a factor. Um, and then we have three upgrade points. So I'm going to be using all the shield or two-handed a lot. Riding. Going to be doing that. Tactics is up fairly far. Throwing upgrade one handed. I think that's it. Done. Apply those and then let's put those pauldrons on. We got. Shoot, I sold those, didn't I? Dang it, I'm an idiot. Oh well, we can use the gold. enough to those 30 and there's no way I can take on all 30 of those oh that would be 41 and I would lose big time man I'm really getting these flat lines Bowman, move! Warriors, get moving! Another thing that's good for me to know is if the game sounds like the horse's hooves and like swords and whatnot, all that stuff. If it's too loud and I need to turn it down, I appreciate the feedback.
them arrows. Attack! Get a little bit too confident on that one. Yeah, we need it. We really need a faster horse. there. Really need some strength too. I think it's where the throw next is. Couple upgrades. I think we have enough to keep upgrading everyone. So let's just keep our party small for now. Rather have a small party with some fairly elite troops than a big party with weak troops. Done there. Upgrade party. I'm not a fan of crossbowmen. I know they have their uses, but Early game, they're slow to reload. I'm just not a huge fan of them. They're a lot better for city defense. So I usually just wait until late game when I have a castle or a town I'm trying to defend, and that's where I'll, uh, I'll station them. So zoomed out a little too far. I want to make sure I avoid this 30 stack looter. I need to heal up before this next turn move. Help him. Let's see what kind of troops he has. Explore. Yeah, no, there's no way. I would help him because that's an easy way to get some renown, but they're way, way, way too strong for me. Let's go to the tavern, ransom those prisoners, and wait here for some time. For some reason this game, I don't know why, but it always makes me think of the movie Gladiator. Especially with the voice, and I picked it for that reason, the voice of uh, the character, the, one of the voices you can pick sounds just like Russell Crowe in that movie. Random, but yeah, I was just thinking about it with the Gladiator Arena stuff here. Join the tournament. Some tough competition in this one. Oh, landlord plate boots are good, so. We're going all in for these bad boys. There. Hey, I 
guy's good at killing the horses, but then he's leaving these guys with spears in the ground. had me there for a second. Much faster swing speed than me. Legionaries are freaking tough too. I have personally think they're the toughest ground unit. I think I'm out easy though, so maybe I'm wrong. Alright, nice. Got some good gold. Good renown. Those landlord plate boots are really good. Early game at least. Give some good armor. Might see what it would cost to get a new horse. Something with some decent speed. I can't get a war horse, but let's see. Speed. Significantly more than my horse. Less hit points. Horse armor 10, horse armor 9, 20. I think it's worth the extra cost there. Make sure I just didn't sell off my landmark plate. Faster horse, that'll be hugely helpful. I think the other place is Farnapool. Farnapool Pool or something like that. But let's see if there's anywhere closer for another tournament. I know this is kind of a grindy episode. Sorry about that. Starting out this series. So hopefully we should get to some more exciting battles and whatnot moving forward. Seronia and Vostrum. I think Seronia is fairly close. I can't remember Vostrum.
Let's go to Seronia. We're close. Fight parties that are bigger than me. Just that way for the XP. Let's get these guys. <laughs> Shows them as stronger. Hopefully, one of these tournaments will have a helmet coming up soon. That was lucky. Someday, this character will be someone to be feared in battle, but not yet. <laughs> Spend more time on the training bonus. help having this faster horse though, that's for sure. Is there anyone else left? Generally generally words are hard. Um I think so. Generally the infantry will chase after anyone that's left. Six of them got away? Some decent renown. Good morale. What is it right now? 32 is all. What's our individual reputation? See, throwing increases your throwing weapon drawing speed by 20%. Shield breaker. Hmm. I think speed. We need speed right now. Done. And let's continue on to Seronia. Do this tournament. Health. That's wait. Still rather be safe than sorry. I shouldn't have to wait too long. Go to the arena, join the tournament. It's 
the competition like militia, militia, Valeria should be tough. Cataphracts are really tough. Veteran. It's a pretty good competition this time. It's going to be tough, but that's a good helmet, so worth it for sure. In the last round, a fairly easy group. The peasant trying to improve his station. Sorry, dude. Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, I really need to improve my athletics, my guys. So. Making our way. I think I might go sp next uh, next video when we get there. I think I'll spend more time hunting down. Actually, I might even do that off stream because it is a pain. Um, hunting down the nobles to finish the Noretz's folly, um, and then from there we can decide which with the dragon banner because that's basically what Noretz's folly is. What you're trying to do is get the dragon banner. Um, once we have that, we can decide which faction we want to support. So trade, I don't, actually we have some stuff to sell. So we'll sell that off. I want that helm. Let's put that on. What's that armor rating? 25, so we're getting some decent armor. Don't need any of that, so we'll sell all that. Do we have any prisoners? Nope. Alright. Let's go find a village to help. We'll end on something a little bit different here. What has he got? Train troops? No, dang it. No, train troops. Some of these quests, like, it's really a no win because you don't get that much reputation from them and it also, they require you, I don't know that one, I've never done the in and out but some of them require you to go, like, threaten another town or kill someone else in another town and it just creates bad reputations in other towns. So it's kind of a no win situation. Let's see what this guy wants. 
See, and that's probably what this is going to be. I'll have to go lose reputation with someone else to, to do it, or the noble. So it's just not a, uh, a situation I really want to get into. 14 looters. Don't want to fight him in the forest if I can chase him out. And might even get a river bank. Nice. And I click too fast again. Idiot. Nice. This is a good spot. Archer, move! Archer's on the slight rise here. Or infantry up there. Let's go see if we can get some of them while they cross. <laughs> and how did I miss again? Jeez, three for three misses. Checking free throws right now. My troops do need some more experience. I might let them get a little bit closer this time. Warriors! Attack! Arrow! Sergeant! You are on command! Make chasing these guys down a little bit easier. See if archers can hit him. A chance to get the kill. I can't. That's everybody. I don't think anyone escaped that time. Nope. Nice. So I'm gonna wait till I can get a horse because these guys are awesome to have, especially early game. Need more infantry. So yeah, I'll wait. I'm not gonna worry about the prisoners. They cost stuff to feed them, and they're not worth very much. So I'm not gonna worry about them right now. Keep the meat. Let's keep looking for a quest. to do. Needs help with brigands. Yeah, let's try it out. My name is Diesel. Moriana, I'm going to go near your speak from here in this village. I'll remember your name. I heard you need help with a problem.
two pins, but I remember these are kind of boring. But yeah, I'll do it. Basically, we just gotta hunt down two pins and bring in somewhere around here. Looters work. Just kill these two real fast. If I can get a good swing in, that is. That's why I need a horse armor. That reason right there. Yeah, we'll take him. I highly doubt we'll catch him. Yeah, they're way too fast for us. Because I missed him. these guys off real fast. here from my troops. Quest is actually, I don't know because he got away. I think I'll have to hunt him down and get rid of him. See, I think you have to eliminate two bandit parties completely to complete the quest. Yeah, 
that's what I thought. We'll just finish the one off. Nice and easy. Just going to tell everyone to charge straight in. We'll get rid of this guy. And then we'll go look for the next city for our tournament. That's where we'll probably end this, this uh, recording. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I'm going to upload this one and probably one other one for today. Just as kind of like start of the stream that should be one to do a week moving forward. Hopefully on the next recording, we can uh, move up to some more interesting things other than this grindy stuff. Like I said, in between this one and the next one, I probably will go complete Moretz's Folly. Um, uh, I got a nice little reputation with them started. So yeah, actually I think that's where we'll call this one, because after this I'm going to finish the Noretz's Folly um, quest, just so that's out of the way, and then we can decide which faction we want to join moving forward. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, um, keep coming back for more, and we'll build up this channel and learn things along the way. Thank you.